the Birmingham Bowl is Coastal Carolina against East Carolina. East Carolina, an eight-point favorite. Total sits at 63. Of course, latest numbers at BetUS. It's on Tuesday, December 27th, 5.45 p.m. Central Time. So let's go on and, uh, and pull up some numbers. Let you see exactly what we're working with here. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Now, my numbers have loved Coastal Carolina all year long. All season. These are the numbers since week eight. And I've got Coastal favored by three and a half points. 3.57 to be exact. However, Coastal is number 106 in PPA margin. East Carolina, number 77. Neither team is very good on defense. Coastal, I don't know what they're going to be without Jamie Chadwell. Like, that, that seems like a big issue to me. Uh, you look at what Mike Houston has done in the past. If I'm not mistaken, he's 5-2-1 and one against the spread in the postseason. And that dates back to when he was at James Madison because East Carolina has not made a bowl game in a while. Uh, this is a... This is a big motivation game. Coastal Carolina has been to, you know, multiple bowl games in a row. Uh, they won a game last year against uh, Northern Illinois. So it's not like they're fighting to get their first bowl win or anything like that. East Carolina has not won a bowl game in a long time. This is a big spot for East Carolina because I think they are significantly better than Coastal Carolina. Uh, the defense... The numbers certainly wouldn't say that. East Carolina's defense has been putrid since week eight of the season. Number 124, PPA per drive. Coastal Carolina, uh, number 71, PPA per drive on offense. But Coastal Carolina's defense is pretty bad, too. Number 105 in PPA per drive there. Uh, number 25 for East Carolina's offense. So how did we get to this point? What are we looking at? Well, we're looking at plays per game. Um, we're looking at all kinds of different things that that could point towards um huh we got construction going on in my building uh we've got a lot of things that could be pointing towards the fact that coastal would be favored in this game uh at least in my numbers i don't necessarily trust it because my numbers have uh, heavily outweighed coastal carolina especially lately with grace mccall being injured the jamie chadwell situation everything else like the numbers may not make total sense with that uh penalties per game east carolina's number four coastal carolina's number 55 turnover margin ecu is number 10 uh coastal is number 50 points per play margin is favoring ecu net points per drive favors ecu plays per game favors ecu um the biggest issue is defensive success rate is number 118 for ecu if coastal can take advantage of that then yeah you look at like standard downs PPA, Coastal number 33 on offense, uh, East Carolina number 104. If Coastal can stay ahead of the chains, uh, East Carolina may not get the ball very much. But when East Carolina does get the ball, Holton Aylers is awesome. Number 39 PPA per pass against Coastal Carolina number 120 PPA per pass on defense. Uh, passing success rate, same thing, number 57 against number 97. This is um, it's going to be interesting to see. Just interesting to see. I, I'm because of the Jamie Chadwell situation. I'm going to have to go with East Carolina. Give me the Pirates here. ECU minus eight. I know the number's big, but it, we've seen teams just kind of fall apart in bowl season when their coaches have gone. Um, you got some Coastal Carolina guys that are sitting out this game as well on defense and on offense. Guys that are transferring. I think East Carolina wants this one more. Give me ECU. Give me ECU minus the eight. I'm glad this came back down from the 13 and a half or whatever it got up to when uh, Grayson McCall announced, or I think it got up to 14 at one point. Uh, but it, at eight, under double digits, yeah, I'll take ECU. I'll take East Carolina there. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.